Hello everyone, so in this lesson we're going to create a four character code using the numbers 1 to 9. The code must be bigger than 7000, the code must be divisible by 2 and numbers can be repeated. So for example, um, okay, let's see this is our choices and this is the code that we come up with. For example, the code 6321 is not going to work. Why? We said it has to be bigger than 7000. So the code 7041 isn't going to work because it's greater than 7000, but it's not divisible by 2. A number that is divisible by 2 has to end on an even number. So the number 7024 this does work. Oh no wait, zero isn't allowed, sorry. So 7124, that is a perfect code. Why? Because it's bigger than 7000 and it ends on an even number. So it means it will be divisible by two. The number 7778 works because we are allowed to repeat and the end number is divisible by two and this whole number is bigger than 7000. So Kevin, how many of these numbers are there? Well, that's where the choices part comes in and that's where we do the multiplying. So we want to work out how many of these numbers can be made. So for the first one, you've got these numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. What type of numbers should go, well let's say here's the code. What type of numbers could you start with so that the entire code is bigger than 7000? Well you could start with a 7, an 8, or a 9, right? Because any number that starts with one of those will be bigger than 7,000. So we have three options there, so let's put a 3. But Kevin, don't we have to start with a 7, 8, or 9? Guys, this is the number of options we have. The code, we can just do this one for fun. Let's say we chose an 8. Then for the next digit, it doesn't matter what you choose, okay? It's, it doesn't matter. So we could choose any one of these 9 numbers, so we have nine options available. Let's say we chose a one. Then for the next one we have nine options available. Let's say we chose a, another one. Okay, so it's 811. Then for the last one, the last number, you have to have a number that is divisible by, or it has to be an even number. So it will be four, two, six, or eight. So there are four options available. So we put a four over here, and let's say we chose the number six. So there we go, 8116 is one of the codes, but if we want to know the total number of combinations that are possible, then you multiply these four together, and that's going to give us a total of 972. So there are 972 different codes that you could make. So here's another fairly easy example. We have a four character code that we're going to make, so that's one, two, three, four, this will be our choices. And let's see an example of a code just for fun. We more and we always interested in this part over here, but I just do this part at the bottom so that you don't get confused. So the code has to start with and end with a five, and repetition is allowed. So we're choosing from the following numbers again. So it has to start with a five. So do we put a five here? Because I do see students doing this. No, guys. This is the number of choices. How many choices do we have? If you look at these numbers, how many choices are there? There's only one. But the, the number that you actually choose, that goes over here in the code. In this part, I just show you just for fun. Now repetition is allowed, so we don't have to cross that off. We have, how many options do we now have for our next one? Well, there are nine options available, so we could put a nine. And let's get, let's think of an, a number that we might have chosen. Let's say we chose a four, okay? Then for the next one, we still have nine numbers available. Let's say we chose a five. We are allowed to choose. They say it must start and end with a five, but they don't tell us about the middle part, so that's absolutely fine. Now for the last one, they said it must end with a five. So how many options do we have available? Well, there's only one, so we put a one there and of course it would be a five. So that is one of the codes we could have made, but how many are there in total? Well, that's gonna be when you multiply one times nine times nine times one, which gives you 81. So there are 81 different combinations that could have worked.